Welcome, my name is Jessie. This is a quick and fun flow where we're going to play around with crow pose. And so whenever you're ready, we are going to start standing on our mat. So allow the arms to rest down by your side. Maybe take a few shoulder rolls here. Keep a very soft bend in the knees. Allow the eyes to softly close or maybe keep a very soft gaze. And draw a deep breath in through the nose, filling up the belly, filling up the chest. Take a controlled exhale. Beginning to invite your focus more on the breath rather than the noisy mind as you draw a deep breath in. Feel yourself breathe out as you take your exhale. Notice this next inhale. Control this next exhale. Take a few more breaths just like that. And notice how your focus needs to be on the breath for you to invite a controlled breath. And as you take that next exhale, maybe you begin to feel the mind more like background noise to your focus on your breathing. Focusing your awareness on the rise and fall of the chest. And see if you can keep your focus on your breathing as you invite a purposeful in-breath and reach the arms out by the side and up overhead. And then as you exhale, sweep the arms out by the side and invite a forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold and step it back. Find a plank pose here. And we're beginning to engage the core here. So very gently, just rock yourself forward and back. But already notice, even as we invited the soft movement in the body, if you're focused on your breath. You can always release the knees down. And on that next inhale, see if you can press the floor away a little bit more, separating the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, engage the core a lot. And then very gently, wherever you are, knees lifted or lowered, on that next inhale, see if you can hover that right leg. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, hover the left. Exhale, place it down. And on that next inhale, very gently rock yourself forward, shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, lower yourself half or all the way down. And then we're peeling up into your heart opener. So untuck the toes, ground down through the tops of the feet so the knees lift. And then breathe in to hover the chest. Exhale, lower. Keep your awareness on this next inhale as you breathe in. Maybe you can find a little bit more lightness in the hands here. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, use the knees to guide you as you round yourself through a cat back stretch and then find a child's pose for a breath. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. On that next inhale, lift yourself back up into a tabletop here and then very gently just begin to dip the hips from one side to another. There's no wrong way to do this. Just inviting a bit more awareness in the back of the body. And then right here, we're inviting a few cat and cows here. So really spread the fingers wide. And on a mindful in-breath, lift the gaze, drop the belly. Exhale, round, tuck the chin into the chest. Be aware of this next inhale as you lift the gaze and drop the belly. Notice if the mind is trying to pull you away from this moment as you round and tuck the chin into the chest. Just come back on that next inhale. Return back to a neutral spine, tuck the toes, and then when you're ready, lift the knees to a hover as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, send the hips up and back, find your downward dog. 
And maybe right here we're resting for about four purposeful breaths. So maybe you bend one leg and then the other. Maybe you bend both. Hugging the arms inward, grounding down through all 10 fingers and the backs of the knuckles. It's better to have the chest pressing towards the thighs and to have the legs completely straight. And so maybe you keep a gentle bend in the knees. Draw one more deep inhale. Feel this breath expand in the sides of the body. And a slow exhale. And then very gently, we're setting the gaze about midway down our mat. And so right where we want to jump, we're going to hop, or maybe if it feels better, you can always step. So we're all working with different body parts, and so work with what feels good right now. But if you'd like to invite this hop, you're going to bend the knees generously as you take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to very gently just hop yourself about midway down your mat. And then once you get there, allow the toes to be facing out and sink yourself down into a yogi squat here. And this does not work with everybody's knees here. So if this is super uncomfortable, listen to the cues your body is telling you and don't take it. So when you're ready, just once you're here, invite any soft movement. So maybe you just lower one knee and then the other. The hands can ground down for support. We're just loosening up the hips here. And then we're inviting a very gentle twist here. And so sink down into your malasana squat. Allow that right arm to reach out to the side as that left arm extends high, breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're just switching it out here. So that left hand grounds down as that right arm reaches. Exhale, breathe down. And then when you're ready, playing around with crow here, you're grounding down through the hands, you're lifting your hips high, and then very gently, heel toe the feet in so that the knees can begin to rest on the triceps. So the triceps are like a little shelf here. And just practice noticing what this feels like. Pause here. If it feels natural, you can very gently begin to tip the weight forward, placing the weight in the balls of the feet, maybe the toes, spread the fingers wide. We're here for one more breath. And then very gently begin to just straighten the legs, find your forward fold, grab hold of opposite elbows and swing yourself gently from side to side. Take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. And then when you're ready, very gently inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, allow yourself to fold. Walk your hands back out to your downward dog. Step the feet back. Inhale, roll yourself forward to your plank. And as you exhale, lower yourself half or all the way. And then peel up into whatever heart opener feels good. Maybe upward facing dog. Straightening the arms. And then when you're ready, find yourself back in your downward dog. Very gently inhale, sweep that right leg high. Exhale, release that heel towards the glute, stack the hips. Inhale, re-straighten that leg. Exhale, hug the knee into the nose, rock yourself forward. And then we're stepping that leg to the outside of that right hand, releasing that left knee down. And then for a moment, maybe you just walk that left knee back. If there's any pinching or pain on that left knee, come out of it. And then very gently invite some micro movements in the body here to settle in a little deeper into this pose. And so maybe that looks like very gently rolling to the outside of that right foot and then allowing it to come in just enough so that your awareness can fall on this movement. Or maybe you tuck that left knee, lift, the toe, lift the knee and rock yourself forward and back. You can lower down onto the forearms, but see if you can notice these next four breaths here. If the mind starts to pull you away, just come back. This practice is a mental game. Were you aware of that last breath? 
and then very gently when you're ready, hug that right knee back in, walk that right foot in between the hands and very gently just send the hips back as the right toes go up to the ceiling and that right leg straightens. Take a slow breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale to rock yourself back forward. Frame the right foot with the hands. Lift that back knee and we're moving into our standing split here. So shift the weight into that right foot. Maybe taking one or two steps. And then just lift that leg high for a transition. Then as you exhale, place that left leg down. Breathe in to halfway lift. Breathe out. Allow yourself to fold down. Step it back for your plank. And you can move through your flow here if you'd like, or you can pause in a child's pose or a downward dog. But if you're flowing, you're inhaling to rock forward. You're exhaling to lower, making sure the elbows are hugging in by the sides. And then you're inhaling to peel back up. We're all meeting in a downward dog. In your downward dog, take a purposeful breath. Send the gaze where you want your feet to land. And so send your gaze about midway down your mat, so not all the way up. Inhale to bend the knees. Exhale, hop or step yourself midway down your mat. Sink into your Malasana squat. You really need to be mindful and careful with the knees here. And so if there's any pinching or pain, come out of it. I don't know what this feels like in your body. So maybe the hands come to heart. Maybe the elbows press into the knees. And if this is enough, you can stay here and just work on engaging the core and lifting the chest. If you'd like, you can ground down through the hands, begin to peel the hips high, walk the feet in, and then very gently ground down through the hands and place the knees back on the triceps. And then from here, you can play around with just lifting that left leg towards the glute. That left foot can be flexed or the toes can be pointed. Right here for about three more breaths. You can lift and lower that leg, shifting the weight forward, or you can lift it and pause. And on that next inhale, we're lifting that left leg towards the glute again. And then as you exhale, we're shifting the weight back, finding our pyramid pose. So that right foot is in front, that right leg is straight. See if you can keep the hip square here and that right hip pressing back as that left hip falls forward. Keep a slight bend in that right knee. We're just folding over that leg. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. And very gently bend that knee, walk your hands forward, kick that right leg back behind you for your three-legged dog, and then place that foot back down. Inhale, we're lifting the left leg high. Exhale, release that heel towards the glute, peel open that hip. Inhale, re-straighten that leg. Exhale, hug the knee into the nose, rock forward, and step that foot to the outside of the hands. Releasing that back knee down. We're finding our lizard on this side. So find those micro movements again with the body. Maybe rolling to the outside of that foot and back in. Can you keep a slow and controlled breath here? Where do you feel the most sensation from this pose in your body? Feel that right hip relax a little bit more. Two more breaths. And then very gently lift yourself up onto the hands. Walk the left foot back between the hands. And as you exhale, shift the hips back. Those left toes go up as that left leg straightens. Not overthinking what it looks like, just noticing what it feels like in your body. 
And when you're ready, very gently walk yourself back forward, framing that left foot, tuck that right knee. And then when you're ready, find your standing split. Again, just a transition. And then stepping that right leg down. Breathe in to halfway lift. Breathe out to fold. Step it back. Find your plank. And then from your plank, you can move through another flow, or you can just pause in a child's pose or a downward dog. And then when you're ready, from your downward dog, inhale, bend the knees, exhale, hop yourself about midway to your mat. Sink into your malasana, take a breath in, and a breath out. And then very gently ground down through the hands. Maybe you just play around with walking the feet in and shifting the weight forward. You don't need to have the legs lift. But if you'd like for the next three breaths, you can play around with just lifting that right leg. Engage the core a lot here. Maybe you can shift the knees closer to the elbows or closer up to the armpit. We're here for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. And on that next inhale, see if you can lift that right leg a little bit higher towards the glute. And then as you exhale, press it back for your pyramid pose here. You're folding over that left leg. Draw a deep breath in. Strong breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then very gently when you're ready, walk yourself back into your downward dog, lifting that left leg high. And as you exhale, place that left leg down. On an inhale, bend the knees, send the gaze midway down your mat and hop or step yourself there, sinking into your malasana squat. You can stay here if you'd like. Or you can play around with crow again, seeing if maybe this time you want to lift both legs. You're grounding down through the backs of the knuckles, all 10 fingers, and then you're very gently lifting one leg, maybe the other, as you shift the weight forward. Play around with this for a few more breaths. And then we're very gently making our way all the way into a seat. Place the soles of the feet together, the knees part for a seated butterfly. And then we're very gently just taking a gentle twist here. So breathe in, sweep the arms up overhead. Then as you breathe out, the gentle twist, that right hand reaches for the outside of that knee. Breathe in. And breathe out, twist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, find this twist on the other side. On that next inhale, reach back up to center. And then as you exhale, take a forward fold, maybe keeping the legs in butterfly pose. You can just reach the arms out in front of you and let the head release. Or you can always place the arms underneath the legs, the shins, breathe in and breathe out. And on that next inhale, lift yourself back up, straighten out the legs, breathe in, reach the arms up overhead. And as you breathe out, take a forward fold, hinging from the hips. When you feel like you can't fold anymore with a flat back, that's when you allow the spine to curve. And see if you can take these next few breaths and feel them in the back of the body as you inhale. And exhale. Is there any place you can relax in this pose a little bit more? Can you let the head release down? Slow breath in. And slow breath out. And when you're ready, inhale, reach the fingertips a little bit further past the toes. Exhale, peel yourself up. Place the soles of your feet on your mats. 
Then very gently exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest here. Maybe gently rocking from side to side. And then you can extend the legs long or place the soles of your feet on your mat and allow the knees to fall inward. Take a slow breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale. And exhale. And while you return back to your natural breathing, just feel the belly and the chest softly rise and softly fall. Relax the toes, the ankles. Relax the hips and thighs. Notice the low back, relax the belly. Notice the fingertips and palms. Relax the arms and shoulders. Unclench the jaw, relax the muscles and the face. And bring your awareness for the next few moments back to the rise and fall of the chest. If you have the time, I encourage you to rest here for as long as you can. Focusing on your breath. But if you'd like, you can very gently roll yourself over to one side. Take a pause, take a breath, and then press yourself up very gently into a seat. Once you're there, just draw a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Pausing here for a moment and maybe just thinking of one or two things you're grateful for. And on an inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms come to touch as the thumbs come down to the center of the forehead for good thought. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, let them fall to the lips for good words. Inhale. And as you exhale, let them fall to the heart for good intentions toward yourself and others. The light in me sees and has so much love for the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate you.